Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As is well known, in the high-end memory chip market, foreign companies such as Samsung and Micron have long monopolized the high-end market. Only in the last two years, relying on 3D stacking technology, has Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, achieved further technological breakthroughs. However, with the implementation of US containment measures against China, import channels for high-end chip products have been restricted. China must achieve domestic substitution in related chip product areas to eliminate the impact of external supply chain disruptions on the domestic industrial chain. Recently, an unexpected situation has arisen for Samsung and Micron, Chinese chip manufacturer Changshin Memory officially announced the release of its latest DDR5 product series, with a maximum speed of 8,000 megabits per second and a maximum chip capacity of 24 gigabits, both core indicators reaching international leading levels. This successfully breaks the long-term monopoly of foreign companies in the DDR5 memory field. To understand the significance of this breakthrough, we must first understand what DDR5 memory is and why it is so important. Simply put, DDR is an abbreviation for double data rate, a standard for computer memory. The upgrade from DDR1 to DDR5 is like the upgrade from 2G to 5G in mobile phones, each generation offers faster speeds, lower power consumption and larger capacity. DDR5 is currently the most advanced memory standard, boasting nearly double the speed of DDR4 while reducing power consumption by about 20%. To illustrate, if you think of a computer as a factory, the CPU is the worker, the hard drive is the warehouse, and the memory is the workbench. The larger the workbench, capacity, and the faster the conveyor belt, speed, the more efficient the workers. DDR5 is like giving you a super large, super fast workbench, dramatically increasing the factory's overall productivity. On the other hand, due to the rapid development of AI, high bandwidth memory like DDR5 has become the product with the highest market demand. Currently, the memory requirements for large AI model training, autonomous driving computing, and data center operations are astronomical. Large models like ChatGPT often require hundreds of GB, or even TB of memory, which traditional DDR4 simply cannot handle. DDR5's high speed and large capacity characteristics perfectly solve the computing power bottleneck of the AI era. Let's look at some concrete data. Changshin's newly launched 24 gigabits high capacity memory chips can increase memory capacity in data centers by 50% without adding physical slots. This is a lifesaver for cloud computing and AI training platforms that require rapid expansion. It's important to understand that each additional memory slot in a data center means more space usage, higher energy consumption, and more complex thermal design. The 24 gigabits chips directly eliminate these problems. Frankly speaking, whoever masters DDR5 technology controls the infrastructure of the AI era. This is why Samsung and Micron are so desperately trying to monopolize the market, and why China must master this technology. Therefore, the emergence of Changshin DDR5 is far more than just adding another supplier, it will fundamentally reshape the power structure of the global memory market. What tricks have Samsung, Micron, and SK Hynix been playing this past year. First, they announced they would discontinue DDR4 production to focus on DDR5. Then they said they would shift DDR5 production to HBM. Coupled with the booming AI chip market and Nvidia's surge in demand for HBM, this directly led to a complete shortage of both DDR4 and DDR5. This hunger marketing strategy caused DDR4 prices to rise by 600% and DDR5 by 200%, making the three companies extremely profitable. Now that Changshin DDR5 has entered the market, a powerful competitor has emerged. The three giants will have to think twice before trying to control production capacity 
and manipulate prices. We're not saying we can immediately drive down prices, but at least we have bargaining power. Domestic mobile phone manufacturers, server manufacturers, and PC manufacturers will no longer be at the mercy of others and can have reasonable pricing power. Referring to the development of the photovoltaic industry, when European and American companies monopolized the solar panel market, prices were ridiculously high. Chinese companies entered the market and cut costs by 70% in just a few years. The memory chip industry could very well replicate this path. Secondly, the production of domestically made DDR5 memory will restructure the security system of the industry chain. The ZTE incident in 2018 and the Huawei supply cut in 2019 taught China that being dependent on others for core technologies is tantamount to handing over one's lifeline. Memory chips, as core components of all electronic devices, are undeniably crucial. Changxin's breakthrough in DDR5 means that Chinese companies finally have a plan B for everything from servers to PCs, from mobile phones to automobiles. Even if Samsung or Micron were to cut off supplies under the pretext of national security, don't think it's impossible. The US did this to Huawei, we wouldn't be held hostage. It is foreseeable that a new round of R&D competition will erupt among global memory chip manufacturers. DDR5 speeds striving for 10,000 megabits per second, capacities evolving towards 32 gigabits and even 64 gigabits, and power consumption further reduced, these technological advancements will ultimately benefit global consumers. Historical experience tells China that whenever a Chinese company achieves a breakthrough in a certain field, it inevitably faces a series of suppressive measures. The patent war in the DRAM sector will be more intense than imagined. Remember the encirclement and suppression Huawei faced in the 5G field. Despite its technological leadership, it was subjected to a barrage of patent wars, entity lists, and supply chain blockades. A similar scenario is likely to repeat itself in the memory chip sector. Samsung and Micron may sue Changshan for patent infringement, even if they ultimately lose, the proceedings could drag on for years, severely impacting market expansion. There is only one solution, increase patent coverage establish cross-licensing mechanisms, and if necessary, retaliate through antitrust measures. This is a protracted battle requiring a multi-pronged approach involving law, technology, and diplomacy. Furthermore, DRAM manufacturing requires high-end equipment such as lithography machines, etching machines, and testing equipment, which are primarily controlled by companies in Europe, the US, and Japan. If the three giants unite with equipment manufacturers to restrict supplies to Chinese companies or extend delivery cycles, Changxin's capacity expansion will be severely constrained. Therefore, although China has released DDR5 memory, the risks have not been completely eliminated. China must remain vigilant and accelerate breakthroughs in areas such as EDA tools, high-end lithography machines, and core IP to resolve the situation where related products and the entire supply chain are being strangled by the West. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.